Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 6th of July. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather a little unsettled for the first half of this week. A number of showers and thunderstorms around. And the tropics are getting a little active. So let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper air look across the country uh, early this morning, actually based on the OZ data last night. Westerly's up north. And look at the water vapor satellite loop. There's an upper low, kind of a subtle feature over north Mississippi gradually drifting east, and that thing will help to destabilize the atmosphere today. That was a radar this morning, 456, the composite. Had a few showers around Auburn and Opelika. Otherwise, things are quiet for most of the state, but again, we're expecting the radar to be fairly active later today. Temperatures are mostly in the 70s, a few upper 60s this morning. High should be in the mid-80s today, which is below average for this time of the year. There's the watch warning map, a quiet morning for much of the country. Later today, severe storms of possibility up north, parts of the High Plains over into the western Great Lakes. Also a marginal risk for parts of the upper Atlantic coast region. Pretty much the same area tomorrow, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota. This is their severe weather season. And Wednesday, day three, a risk again. Minnesota and some of the adjacent states. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west remains dry. Amounts in Alabama, again, uh, these maps are pretty tough to to draw this time of the year. Uh, you know, lighter amounts for the north, heavier totals for the south. But understand, one good storm can drop over one inch of rain in 30 minutes. We had uh, Carbon Hill had three and a half inches of rain from one storm Saturday. So, again, use these maps with caution. Your number will vary. So let's talk about the tropics, uh, three areas of interest. First off, uh, down in the lower latitudes, that little wave approaching the Windward Islands, that is not expected to develop. Uh, over the next five days, we've got Edward, a new tropical storm that will be very short lived out in the middle of nowhere, stays in the middle of nowhere. No threat to land. Uh, look at this swirling low. You can see it nicely in the radar presentation this morning between Mariana and Tallahassee, Florida. And that thing is moving northeast and the hurricane center giving that a, a medium chance of developing over the next five days. This is Invest 98L. And uh, there's a look at the guidance. And it's, some of the models keep it inland. And obviously, it's not going to develop if that's the case. But if it can get back out in the Atlantic, this might become Tropical Storm Fay uh, by mid to late week. We'll see. But obviously, that's moving away from our region. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06 C run, 4 o'clock today. You can see that little weakness down here, the upper low. And again, we'll ex we're expecting a number of showers and storms to form this afternoon. This is tomorrow. Deep moisture in place, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the 80s and the same thing on Wednesday. Uh, more clouds than sun, a good chance of a few showers and storms during the day, but not all day. Uh, now, this is Thursday. Evidence the moisture might be thinning out a little bit. Showers becoming more scattered. And Friday, that trend continues. Scattered mostly afternoon and evening storms. And then by the weekend, the uh, GFS looking awfully dry. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. If this verifies, the weekend would be mostly dry with highs 88 to 92. Right at seasonal averages. Nothing too bad for this time of the year. And then a week from today, this is Monday the 13th, we have an upper high. Big old nasty 597 circle over New Mexico. And then a trough over the east and Again, that looks awfully quiet. Let's go out 10 days. Wednesday of next week, the 15th of July. Uh, 594 heat to the west, and uh, that looks pretty standard. We'll see a few scattered showers and storms about, if this verifies. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about 2 inches. Some of the members as high as 4 inches. Highs in the mid to upper 80s here through Wednesday, then low 90s for a while. And the CPC outlook, July 13th through the 19th, temperatures a little above average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.